Welcome to this broadcast of PHAYY Channel 18's Boys of Pulse Today. I'm your host, Aaron Khan. And I'm Shua Bauminger. Our top story is Pulse Hebrew Academy's Double High Birthday, an incredible momentous occasion. We here at PHAYY Studio are certainly excited. We sure are, Aaron Khan. Chai is such a meaningful number, but double chai? That's double meaningful. So we here at PHAYY wanted to ask you, our supporters, how you felt about poets reaching double high. So we went out into the field with our reporter, Chaim Leib Miller. Thanks, Arn Khan. I'm here in the covered walkway, which was just installed in 2013 as a pathway in between the Boys and Girls School. In its 36 years, poets has grown, thrived, and expanded in incredible ways. And this, in many ways, is the connector symbolic of that growth. What does double high mean to you? It means 36 years of great teachers. It means Pulse has been a very great part of the community. Well, I got $36 for my birthday once. I think this school is older than my mother. What does Double High mean to you? Well, I guess it means there are so many smart Pulse people out there in the world. There are like 400 students, 36 years. That's like 14,400 Pulse people in the world. Wow, that's a lot of Pulse people out there in the world. For folks in the audience, look to your left, look to your right. You just might be next to a Pulse star. Back to you in the studio, Aaron. 14,400 people. That's a lot of number two pencils. Why do they call them number two pencils? Have you ever used a number one pencil? I don't know, but I'm sure our esteemed Rabbi Man Morris know. But with that many people out there, we want to tell the story of one of the school's grads who liked us so much, he sent his daughter to Poets. My name's Tovia Goldstein. I uh, was fortunate enough to go to this wonderful school, Poets Hebrew Academy. I graduated in the class of 98, so just a shout out there to all my friends. When I was a student here, you could feel that from the top down, the administrators, the teachers, that everybody had that care and concern that you succeed and you thrive in, in all areas. There's no better way to show how much you trust the school, uh, more so than sending your own children to the school. And when we were um, seeking out and uh, deciding which community we were going to land in, naturally uh, Northeast Philadelphia was the, the place that came to mind. For us, it was a selling point that we knew that we had a school like Poets Hebrew Academy to send our kids to. It's great to see the way the school interacts with them and, and takes care of all of their, their small needs above and beyond what you would think would be necessary of a school. I've got four kids in the school now. We got Barachi in fourth grade, we have Nechama in second grade, we have Aaron Simcha in first grade, and Binyamin in kindergarten. We feel right at home over here at Politz. You know, we, we, we love it, the kids, the kids love it, and, uh, and uh, Mir Tashem, we have um, about 150 more um, at home that are hopefully going to be able to, uh, to attend Politz Hebrew Academy. One of my favorite subjects is writing at Politz. They help me tell stories better, write stories, it's incredible that Polis is still here for 36 years, and I like that I get to learn where my father learned. Thir 36 years, that's an amazing accomplishment, and uh, I'm so happy that I was able to benefit from it and see my kids benefit from it, and, uh, and just wishing that this school should have lots of success for many, many years to come. It's truly heartwarming to see the continuation of this school's legacy. That concludes our broadcast, but our sister station has a really compelling story about the people that make it all happen, the teachers. Welcome to PHAYY Girls of Pulitz broadcast. Celebrating double high is monumental for sure. It's pretty incredible to see all that school offers. Next, we wanted to talk to the people who have been through and seen it all. Boots on the ground, the great teachers who have been here from the beginning. When I first started here, the school had a high level of academic expectations. But Mrs. Katz has always instilled in us that we always want to go to the next level. It's been a consistent upward swing of let's improve, let's improve, let's make this the best school that we can. First couple of years here, I didn't have a science lab. Now I have a fully stocked, fully functional science lab. We have a greenhouse behind our school, and it's whatever we need. Um, you just need to ask. The education is consistent in the sense it's, it's the same Torah. Gemara, Navi, Halacha, it's all, that's all the same. We, we could use um, technology for it to help it, but the end result is it's the same Torah that was given by Moshe Rabbeinu by Arsina. Over the years, the quality, the depth of learning has grown. It, it's a stronger program. We're able to teach on a higher level. It's a school that's willing to grow 
in its depth and its quality. And I think that attracts people. That's why we have people coming from all over the Delaware Valley. I think to, to have been here for 36 years, um, and not only 36 years of existing as a school, but consistently increasing our enrollment, there's a reason people want to come here. Amazing to see these developments over 36 years. What a teaching piece. Definitely. Let's cut away to some commercials and we'll be right back. Having a hard time sitting in your seat? Feel like you're climbing up the walls? When you come to our sensory room, that's exactly what you can do. And if you just need to chill out, you can do that too. The sensory room works for everyone. Meet Robbie the Robot. He can dance, walk, and follow your every direction. Built by Pulitz Middle School students, he's the friend you always wanted. Stop by Pulitz Hebrew Academy Science Lab and make a new friend. A robotic friend, that is. Ask any student what their favorite time of day is, and no one will argue that the answer is recess. Soccer, football, baseball, mechanheim, even swinging on the monkey bars are just some of the great activities you'll find all of our students enjoy playing. Pulitz Hebrew Academy believes in a great education that exists both inside and outside of the classroom. During the school year, we leave the textbooks to hear the sage words of our rabbis, listen to guest professionals, and watch school-related performances. The words of the text come alive when we participate in these ways and provide a truly meaningful education to everyone in our school. Welcome back to our program. We've covered and learned so much about Pulitz. And so we just wanted to say, Happy Double High Birthday, Pulitz Hebrew Academy. Let's go to Miriam Zephyrin, who is on campus, capturing the energy and excitement at school. Thanks, Zavela. In the spirit of birthdays, let's hear from the people who make this place great. We went around to some of our esteemed faculty and students to let them wish Pulitz a happy birthday. Mrs. Harding, a brief word on Pulitz's 36th birthday. I just want to wish them a very happy birthday and many more years of good stuff. I can't believe it. I started as a Hebrew kindergarten teacher and now I just moved up to first grade. But 36 years ago, it's hard to believe. Mazel tov, mazel tov. I want to wish the happiest of birthdays to Pulitz Hebrew Academy on this very, very special anniversary. Happy anniversary, Pulitz, my home away from home. Happy double high birthday, Pulitz Hebrew Academy. Happy double high birthday. Happy birthday, Pulitz. Happy birthday, Pulitz. I have a really happy double high birthday, Pulitz. Happy, happy double, double high birthday. birthday. Happy double high birthday, Pulitz. From all of us, we want to wish Pulitz Hebrew Academy a happy birthday. Happy birthday!